Michael Steinhardt to say welcome to Australia, and whether you like it or not, uh, being the king of pop and the biggest recording star in the world, what is your philosophy of staying at the top? Well, I think being humble and believing in yourself and having true love in your heart for the world and really trying to help people through lyrics and the love of music and dance because I truly do love people very much. You cope with all the hysteria. I mean, wherever you go, whether it's London, whether it's Munich, whether it's New York, whether it's Bangkok, whether it's Japan, and even here in Australia, how do you cope with the hysteria? Mm. I know it's all love, so it makes my heart very happy. And I like to give it back, you know, through however I can give. And uh, it puts a smile on my face to see all the children and all the teenagers and the, the adults, the demographics. It makes my heart very, very happy. I love them. I love all the fans very much. Well, we're coping with the hysteria. I mean, I can't cope with it. I mean, watching all of this going on around, I mean, the press have been absolutely manic. It's been manic mania. Can I ask you, do you ever relax? Does Michael Jackson ever relax? Because I know you're a workaholic. Yes, I am a workaholic. Uh, I don't relax, really. I, I don't sleep a lot. I like to continually... Uh, my mind never stops. I'm always creating. I never stop. But I love a good water balloon fight or... You know, playing around, goofing off, Nintendo games, arcades. Mm -hmm. Now, Michael, I have to ask you this question. Being possibly the biggest profile in the world, uh, I guess Princess Diana matches you, you read all these amazing stories about Michael Jackson. I mean, I don't know whether they're true or not. Um, you read that Michael Jackson's a weirdo. You read that Michael Jackson's bizarre. You read that he's done this, he's done that. Now, I know some of those stories are not true because I mean, even I was accused of being at your wedding, and I knew that wasn't true. But how do you cope? How do you feel about all the stories that are written about you? It's very sad. I just want the fans to know and to understand that it's not the truth. 99.9% .9 of it is not the truth. And don't read it, don't believe it. It's garbage. It's tabloid junk. I mean, they just simply make it up for greed and money. So uh, please don't, don't listen to it. It's trash. Well, I'm uh, a personal friend of yours, but I have got to ask this question. I am a Stephen King fanatic. I have every book um, that possibly Stephen King has written. Um, you, you can say, mind your own business. Stephen King is a very gentle, sweet, kind man. I mean, the profile that we see in the books and in his works and he's nothing like that he's very humble uh, a lot of people try to judge me the same way but i'm pretty simple i i love to create i love to make magic i love to create the unexpected you know and steven uh, he's just wonderful he's not bizarre or strange or weird he's, he's a loving person i'm great to work with great to work with we together he and i wrote ghosts and we had fun doing it all right, now listen, I never normally ask for autographs, but this is a Stephen King book, and it's called Insomnia, and I'm sure that over the last week I've had no sleep thinking about <laughs> the Michael Jackson thing. Can you please sign this book sure. uh, of Stephen King's for me? Sure. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Enjoy Molly. Australia. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to more work from Michael Jackson, more records, and then you know, the biggest star, if you're not the biggest star in the world, the entertainment. All my love to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>